After battling a rare form of cancer for a year, a second grader made a triumphant return today. As News Channel 5's Sina Salim explains, classmates welcomed her back with open arms. How are you today, Gabby? As Gabby Old stepped through the doors of West Elementary, mm -hmm. she felt anxious. Mm -hmm. It was a big day for the seven-year-old. I'm nervous. But luckily, she didn't have to take on this day alone. Hey, Daddy! Can you say welcome back? Welcome back! Mm. <laughs> Gabby missed the last year of school after being diagnosed with the rare form of bone cancer. Around Thanksgiving, Gabby was complaining uh, of her leg um, hurting. Mm -hmm. An MRI confirmed she had a tumor in her leg. Immediately, Gabby underwent chemotherapy for eight months and had multiple surgeries, including having a donor bone inserted in her leg. No, I probably don't remember the first month. Uh, you're stunned and just in complete shock. Hi. <laughs> now in remission, Gabby can finally go back to school. And while most students her age dread doing projects, Gabby isn't taking this moment for granted. <laughs> After all, she's been through worse. She hasn't been in a school environment now for so long, and but she's not even nervous. She's just so excited to see her peers and ready to get back to, to normal, being a kid. Bonjour, I want to visit Paris, France. Gabby kicked off second grade by doing a presentation on Paris. 1889. A place she's always dreamed of visiting. The most thing that I really want to do is see it lit up at night. And with cancer behind her for now, it could be a reality soon. What? I want to go sit in my seat. In Wilson County, Cena Sleem, News Channel 5. Gabby's mom says they have spoken to the Make-A-Wish Foundation about a Paris trip. It hasn't been granted just yet, but they are still hopeful.